Good morning and welcome to our thought for the day. I'd like to read you a couple of verses, please, from Psalm 27. What a great psalm this is. And it begins by saying this, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. And the little heading I have given this morning is simply this, divine protection. Divine protection. As we read through this psalm, it begins with the word, the Lord. Everything in our lives, if we want spiritual success, must begin with the Lord. Every blessing that we've ever received is through the Lord. All that we are or ever hope to be is because of the Lord. And then it says the Lord is. You see, our experience must not be the experience of yesterday. Our experience must not be the experience of tomorrow. Our experience must be the experience of now, of the present time in which we live. Verse 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Here we see a personal testimony. And what a testimony it is. So sure of it that he, he, he plainly declares it to everyone that can hear and will read it. He says, my light, my salvation. And it is Jesus, friends, who is the light. And that light comes into the darkness and shows us our need of salvation. And salvation finds us in the dark. But does not leave us in the dark. It gives us light. Even to those who walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he is with us. After we receive salvation, friends, our God becomes our joy, becomes our comfort, our guide, our teacher, and in every sense, our personal light. He is the lamp unto our feet. He is the lamp for right now where we are. And he is the light unto our path as we step forward into what we call the unknown, but it's all known by Christ. The psalmist does not say that he is a light. The psalmist doesn't say that he is a salvation. He says he is my light. He is my salvation. And so it is, friends, that all we could ever desire we find in him. If he truly is all this to you, then the question must be asked that we find in the psalm, Whom shall I fear? For the powers of darkness are not to be feared. For the Lord, our light, will destroy all the darkness that is round about us. Destroy the damnation and the fear of damnation and of hell. You see, it is not to be dreaded by us. For the Lord is our salvation and the Lord is our strength in our life. We must remember that all the strength for life comes from him who is the author of it. He is the author and the finisher. Of our faith. And when he makes us strong, we cannot be weakened by Satan himself. For if God be for us, who can be against us? Either now or in the future, he is unable to make us weak because Christ has made us strong. Then we read in verse 2 and 3 how the enemy will come upon us with such ferocity that we can all, it almost seems to be unbelievable, really. It says, when the wicked, even mine enemies and foes, come upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and they fell. When the enemy is a roaring lion comes along to tear everything that is good from us, to tear our experience apart that we have in Christ, he cannot do it. He cannot do it. It says they stumbled and fell. You see, when he comes to destroy, my God will come to deliver. When the lion will tear us apart, God will shut his mouth. Our enemies will stumble and fall, but we will stand tall on the rock, Christ Jesus. Though a horse should encompass camp against me, my heart shall not fear. Let the enemy do his worst. 
Let all hell rise up together. I will be confident in Christ, for he cannot fail, because he has conquered Satan, he has conquered hell, and he rose victorious, and he is my Saviour, my right, and my Lord. May the Lord bless you and encourage you this day, and I'll be back to speak with you again tomorrow morning, the same time, and the same place. God bless you.